What's up YouTube, Matt C here with an update on my Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. Um, as I'm scrolling through the videos of YouTube on the Lenovo T440P, I've noticed many people are having a problem. And that problem is that when your computer is closed, okay, and you go to open it, it turns on and then shuts off. Now, I too did experience that problem. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what that problem is, how to fix it, and stuff like that. So basically, when that happened to me, it happened to me like, I don't know, a week after I got this. Not even. So, right away, I called up Lenovo, because, you know, it's a brand new computer. It, this thing should be working perfectly. And I go, look, I have this issue. Every time I tur open it, without this plugged in, without the charger plugged in, it goes on and off. But with the DC power plugged in, I'm sorry, AC power plugged in, it will run. Okay, send it in. We'll fix. Uh, well, we they tried some diagnostics with me, um, but it just nothing was working. So I ultimately had to send it into Lenovo Depot Center. Um, basically, the issue is that um, it had a bad uh, system board. Many ThinkPads might have this, many not. That's why they're not recalling the system board because some do, some not, some don't. You know, so if you recalled it, then you'd have to send them all in, and, you, and you'll be fixing ones that are perfectly fine. So that's why they did not recall the system board on the ThinkPad T440B. But they said, you know, if you do have an issue with your system board, send it in. We'll fix it. Now, take in mind that I did have the Lenovo warranty on this, because I just got it. I got the 90-day warranty. I'm sure if you have the extend warranty, you'll be fine. I don't know exactly if you don't have any warranty on this and you want to send it in. I don't know how they'll go about that. Maybe they should give it to you for free because it's an issue with the system board that you could not prevent from happening. Okay, so um, I've seen that a lot on, e on, on YouTube and that was uh, one of the complaints, uh, one of the cons to getting this computer I saw was like yeah, issues with the thing, you know, opening up and people just return them and, and not try and fix them. But look, I like the computer, I like it a lot. Um, so I wanted to, I want to fix it, I want to see what's going on, and ultimately it was the system board, and now it seems to be working fine. Um, also, when I did the, uh, the review, when I did the review on this, which many of you saw, I did the review, and I told you guys about this sharp edge. Now, some other person who had a Lenovo ThinkPad T440P commented and said, yes, this is happening to me. Um, again, guys, let me know. Post your, com post your comment below if this is happening to you. This is like a very jagged end down there. So when I sent this into Lenovo, I said to them, I said, look, where the palm rest, this is the palm rest, meets like the bottom edge of the computer. There's like a lip there. Is that supposed to be sharp? You know, is that like, you know, as I'm using the trackpad, I feel it. And they go, no, it's not supposed to be. We'll fix that too. I go, okay. So here I'm thinking I'm going to get this back and it's going to be fine. Everything's fine. I get it back. I This is replaced. This has been replaced. I could tell that's brand new. There's still that jagged edge there. So I'm just going out on a limb here, and I'm saying that is how this thing is built. It's built just like that, because um, they put a replacement part on. It was it wasn't just mine. Um, so I'm, it's just something you gotta live with. Something you'll get used to. I did notice, however, that the outside of the computer is this, is the you know like kind of matte, soft touch, if you want to say per se. Maybe rubber rubberized. It feels like. The inside, oh, starting word here. The inside, this palm rest is a different, um, a, di a whole different texture than the outside of the computer, even the bottom. So what I'm thinking here is this is a cheaper piece that they put on here 
just to save money because it is different than this. And it kind of feels different from the screen bezel. Um, from being compared with the, uh, the ThinkPad T440S, uh, there was no jagged edge and this was the same material as the rest of the computer. So uh, that just shows a bit of a higher build quality if you want to say. Um, but yeah, that, those two things were the main issues that I had with this computer. And the one annoying thing is this, but something I'll live with. I love the computer. It's performing excellent. Um, I've really been using it now. I downloaded a huge game onto this thing. Microsoft Flight Simulator X. I had the disc laying around somewhere, and I'm like, look, this is a gaming computer. I got an i7 in here with, you know, Navita graphics. Throw a game on here. I gotta say, no lag. It performs performs better than my Mac when it comes to gaming. Um, I just got a standard MacBook Pro 2.5 gigahertz i7 with Intel uh, graphics, eight gigs of RAM. So, but the 12 gigabytes of RAM is registering in here. Um, I am updating to Windows 8.1 Pro. I recommend everybody if you didn't do it, do it. Um, upgrade to 8.1 because it just takes out the kinks of 8 that I've been seeing and I don't like 8 to begin with so just get those kinks out um, if you have an issue of when you update to 8.1 and you go into Google Chrome or another program and it's all very blurry okay I'll show you how to fix that you right click Google Chrome click properties See if I remember this. You're going to click um, compatibility. Right? Then you're going to click um, disable display uh, scaling on high DPI settings. Apply that. And it's, it's obviously still clear but um that should fix that issue of it being blurry um i would like to really see if this downloaded but if that's not the way to do it post your comment you know don't don't be afraid post your comment tell me how to do it tell everybody else how to do it i'm pretty sure it's disp disable display scaling on high dpi settings because for some reason when you download 8.1 it like upgrades your your display um, crazy and then this gets all out of whack um, but yeah also if you are trying to figure out how to run a, uh, a program that's not meant for your computer not meant that is really not necessarily made yet for Windows 8 just go again do the like let's for example this is an XP program but it works fine this is a auto this is an auto diagnostics program I use for my Mustang Go to compatibility, you could click run this program in compatibility mode and you could choose 7, Vista, XP. So I'm just going to do 7 because every program runs with 7. And now, you open it and you could use the program as if you were in Windows 7. So that's pretty cool. It's looking for the uh, OBD2 connector. But we're just going to undo that. Okay, so I got Windows 8.1 Pro downloading, this takes so long, so long, um, I'll do some programs, that's really it now for the uh, annoyances, um, I'll just go over some programs I have and what I think is really good, uh, we'll do like a top top five programs you know to use so like number one best inter internet browser to use I'm gonna have to say Google Chrome um, I love Google Chrome it's fast it's simple and tell you the truth most websites and program are, are like now basing stuff off of Google Chrome because even though Internet Explorer with the Internet 10 it's just still it's 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 to me it's horrible you know, I just, it's so much, there's so much of a difference between 
uh, Explorer and Chrome, it's amazing how much of a difference there is. Um, moving on to the next most, like a number one important thing, is uh, internet security. Um, I'm running Casper Sky, Kaspersky's, however you want to say it, Pure 3.0. This is a new version of Kaspersky's. Um, the thing gives me total protection. You know, internet, computer, things getting plugged in, whatever. Um, also, you could create backups and settings, and parental control, and and tracking your credit cards and and and, and like you know when you're online shopping, like just putting locks on everything. Updates, it's not annoying with updates. Uh, Norton is probably by uh, far one of the worst programs to have. Uh, it's just does not perform well and. I know a lot of people that have gotten a lot of viruses even when they have their Norton on. Um, and think about it, all computer manufacturers give you a, like a trial of Norton. Because it's cheap, it's crap, I don't, I don't recommend it at all. Uh, Kaspersky's is one of the top, I love it, I've never had a problem with it, knock on wood. Uh, moving on. Two is probably uh, documents. Uh, PowerPoint stuff like that if you're made whatever you're making Microsoft Office is amazing I love the I love the new office I it boots up quick you even got all your little templates if you want to choose from I love I love the new office some people don't I do I think it's a good it's good next to Windows 8 um let's see what else do we have on here start 8 Four dollars and ninety nine cents for this program. It is amazing. I love it. I just I can't. I just I can't get used to this. Yes, it's very nice. It's very flurly and whatever you want, flamboyant. Um, but it's just not. It's not quick and easy to get to stuff you need to get to, like computer control panel stuff. You know your setting. It's that you got to go into here. You got to first. You got to find. You got to right click all apps. Then you got to sift through this to find a thing. Right here, boom. Start 8. It's, I think it's amazing. And you always got your Windows 8 thing here, so if you need that, you got it. I love it. I think it's one of the best uh, start menus. Um, there's other ones, like Start Menu 8. There's like a run off of this. You know, all these weird things. I, I think Start Menu is one of the best ones out there. If not the best. Another program I got from the man... Uh, person who did this is Modern Mix and what that does is you gotta say some of these programs are very cool and cool to use let's go to the new Internet Explorer never mind that's not the new Internet Explorer that is the old one calendar I think the new calendar is very nice but we'll go to this is how it opens up, right? It, you got no bar, you got a, you know, it's all on your side here. What Modern Mix does is it makes your, it lets, enables you to use these nice apps in a regular Windows size. Where you have your bar down here, you have everything accessible. Um, I think it's really cool, you know, you could even do your, your, your two-sided. And you could follow your install, you know, because this you can't get away from. You have to use this to, inst uh, to do your installs and updates. But this is like, I think Modern Mix is very cool and I like it a lot. Because it enables me to use the nice apps, but without a headache. As if I was using regular Windows 7. Um, let's see, what else? I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, besides, I mean, your main your main users are your documents, your browser, and your internet security. So, that was it. If you have any questions about anything Lenovo, anything ThinkPad, anything computer related, I'm not just a Lenovo guy, I know a lot about our old computers. Um, even cars. I know, I'm crazy. I have a Mustang, a 2011 Mustang GT 5.0. It's got exhaust headers, all that good stuff. So if you got any questions on anything, maybe I'll put up a picture, uh, a video of the car so you can put all your qu questions on that. 
Um, but if you got a question on anything computer tech related, zones, leave a comment, message me. I know there's a message feature on YouTube. Um, so, guys, this was uh, Matt C with the Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. Um, uh, just going over some of my pet peeves and some of my top programs I like using every day. So if you like this video, please hit that like button below. You want to subscribe to me, find out new videos. Check out my channel. I got plenty of Lenovo ThinkPad videos on there. I got some of another Lenovo computer. Um, so yeah, have a good day, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Wherever you are in the world viewing this, have a good one. See you guys later.